If you start listening to the birds just before sunrise, the first birds you may hear could be nocturnal, like tawny owls. Shakespeare led us all astray by assuming that to woo, to wit, to woo was made by a single bird. Actually, it's the females which make the harsher sounding Kiwik! Whilst the males call So Shakespeare's single bird is actually a duet between a pair of owls. As the first light begins to appear over the horizon in rural areas, you may be lucky enough to hear an outburst of skylark song. Up with the lark is not just a meaningless saying, but is based on observation where mankind was more in tune with their natural surroundings. This very well known song of whistles, trills and warbles is usually given in flight, but skylarks can also sing from the ground or a perch for several minutes. The Victorian poet George Meredith described it memorably as a silver chain of sound. Britain's most loved bird, the robin, also begins to sing in semi-darkness, as anyone living near street lighting can confirm. These robins are often wrongly assumed to be scarce a nightingale. Despite the bird's popularity, some observers think its song has a melancholy or wistful air. Dave Gosney catches the spirit of the robin's song with his mnemonic. Twiddle-oo, twiddle-oo-dee, twiddle-oo. Another early morning chorister is the song thrush, which has a loud, repetitive, cheerful song. Unfortunately, this isn't a common bird as it once was. So now many people's hearts are lifted when they actually hear its bold, loud, bow-like notes. According to Percy Edwards, the renowned bird mimic, it says, Sweetheart, 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 beat you, beat you, beat you. So it did, so it did, so it did. Hear me, hear me. Be quick, be quick, be quick. Take heed, take heed, take heed. <laughs> 